It's George. <laughs> oh, George. You went in there almost four weeks ago and you've come out in fourth place. Oh, it just it feels like it was... Uh, when I was in there, it felt so long, but now I've come out, it feels like two minutes. It feels like you're in there so... And you came in fourth place. You're in there... I, I was the overwhelmed. I was absolutely overwhelmed. The people who I was sitting with throughout the whole process, let alone the final, uh, it's just amazing for me. I can't even and believe And your reception when you came out, that was like a winner's reception. Like, the crowd oh, just it's went up It's just superb. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, something um, that I never expected. Um, well, something we never expected was something that happened last night. I oh, know. <laughs> so, so the last... I've just spoke to Adele about this, but the last bit of reality that we've watched was... Um, Last night, under the bed covers, um, little cuddle, anything else? You sure it was my bed? Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, it was lovely. I want to see the stories match. No, no, um, uh, the, the, well, we had a few drinks, we went to bed and we yeah. had a kiss. We'd been cuddle buddies for a little while, so... Uh... The stories match! Yes! Yay! <laughs> Because two weeks ago you were cuddling up to little Stephanie. I know. <laughs> um, look at yeah, her look. face. <laughs> she don't look happy. <laughs> um, I, I just have to tell you, she tweeted something. Oh, um, no. Still haven't picked out an outfit for tonight's CBB final. Need something cute for when I see my ex-husband and his new wife, Edel. <laughs> well, actually, she split up with me while I was in the house. Oh, so really? She said we got to that six-month stage, so it was sort of like... Six months in two yeah, weeks. Yeah, I don't know. It said, felt like it. Um, now, listen, you and Dee, you're kind of like the new kids on the celebrity block. Yeah, definitely. Um, so what was it like living with all those other celebrities? It was crazy. Um, I didn't make any precon... Like, I didn't read the press before, so yeah. I didn't have any preconceptions of anyone. I think that done me proud, because yeah. um, I, d I judged everyone on face value, and uh, everyone was wicked in there. Really cool. Um, did you find... You, it looked like you just fitted in seamlessly. Was there ever any nerves? Did you ever feel like you had to be careful around people? Yeah, I think after the first couple of days, you feel that acceptance, and then you can sort of move on and... Um, and, and sort of relax a bit. Um, and you forget, you know, it's the same... It's the same with the last programme I did. You just forget the, yeah. about cameras and stuff yeah. and then you go about your daily business and you realise that you're doing daft things. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you two get on so well? I don't know. It's just, um, it's just like, um, when you're nervous, be mischievous and he's the perfect partner for that, you know, just get involved. Um, there was loads of times when we had such a laugh, you know. Um, and as I said, the only time that I was a little bit held back from James's personality is when he was too honest, you know. It, that, yeah. He's not a bad guy, he's a nice guy. Well, you did say, didn't you, you know, sometimes you can be perceived maybe in probably not the best light. Um, you, it looked like you could be honest with him. You could tell him exactly what you thought. You could pull him up on certain things. But he was totally fine accepting that from you when maybe he wouldn't have been with other people. Why could you get away with it, do you think, when others couldn't? I think James is a man to himself. I think he understands that if it comes a time when you've got to start picking reasons yeah. for nominating people, etc. I think he's man enough to take it, and I think we both understood from the start that when we got at this process, it was a show, and that's the end of that. Cut it off, carry on with yeah. what we had in the first place. Yeah. Um, he's very direct, sometimes quite abrupt. Too brutally, direct. brutally honest. Yeah. Do you, but, but, you know, as you say, that is a good thing as well as a bad thing sometimes. <laughs> Do you think he ever crossed the line? Um, I think sometimes he'll stir a situation when it's not necessary and he doesn't get that it's not necessary. But, you know, we live in a world where if people weren't different, it'd be very boring. Yeah. So you've got to accept people for what they are. And have you enjoyed the whole experience? Do you feel like you've... Do you feel like we've helped you find out anything about yourself that you may not have already known? Yeah, I've got 21 again. I've got, I've got my confidence back. Yay! <laughs> I'm uh, George, thank you so much. You're no, absolutely thank you. delightful. Thank you. George, thank you. Your mum's crying. Go and give her a